Hi right, guys. So it is 2:22. Um, here I'm just going to go over my process a little bit. So when I want to find a stock, what I usually do is I come to Yahoo Finance and I come to the trick and, uh, trend and tickers page. Right here, I see the stocks that have been gaining the most throughout the day. Now, if you want to know which how I pick my stock, you can buy that in the PDF. Uh, but here is where I come and select a stock. And so today's stock that I'm looking at is two stocks, actually. So MTC, which is at $5.37. It's um, at 32% percent change. So here you can find, for instance, PSTV. So PSTV, $10.94. That's the last price, the percent change. 180%. And then I can look over here at the day chart to see is this a stock that I'll potentially look at going into the three o'clock power hour? Now, the power hour is the time that this stock could really increase and go up, you know, maybe 30%. I just want 10% of that. So once I identify a stock, so I pick PSTV MTC, I'll go into Google. And I'll type in the search bar, MTC stock, MTC stock. Um, let's see, is that, let me refresh this page. Oh, it's already refreshed. So it's $5.35. I can look at the one day chart and see that it's been increasing throughout the day and it's been falling going into 224. I can look at this five day history, one month history. There you go. So and now the PSTV stock is that this one is currently at eleven dollars and twenty five cent. It's low has been at nine dollars. Probably would have been a great time to get in. But going into power hour. So uh, three o'clock, it may fall again right before it goes up. So hopefully uh, I pick the right one. I only pick one stock for me. I hate having the balance between two. If you're good at picking two. Go for it. For me, I only pick one. So pick one that's best for you. All right, let's see. You can also try uh, Stock Twits. Here on Stock Twits, you have people telling you, you know, what they think. They could be wrong, they could be right. For me, it's just fun watching them say what they want to say. So remember, Go to Yahoo Finance, Trending Tickers. Once you identify your stocks, go to Google, look at the graph. See, uh, PSTV has dropped to 1064. You can see they drop really fast or they, they increase really fast. The stock high today was, uh, where was it? $14. No, yeah, $14.33. So this could go up or go down. So we're going to watch and see. Once I identify what stock, that I'm interested in. I'll go over to either E-Trade or Fidelity. And so here I'm on my E-Trade account. On my E-Trade account, I will go and type in the symbol. So let's see, for instance, PSTV populates and it tells me the stock is at $10.76. And I can refresh and see where it's at. Um, once I know, I'll select buy. And I can pick the quantity. So if I want to get um, nine thousand dollars worth of stocks, that's eight hundred and thirty six shares. Right. I'm able to get that. I'm able to set a, a, a I can do this at market price. And once I select my stock, I can go back and set a sell for a stop loss. And that's where I will set my stop loss for. So if the price drops, I won't lose money. If the price continues to go up, I'll reset my stop loss so that uh, I'll capture whatever gains that I had originally got. So that's generally the process. So what you really want to do is have your process set up to where you know where to find your stocks, you know what to look at, and then have your account. So I use Fidelity or E-Trade. Some people use Robinhood. Um, for me, I just like the way these looks and feel. Uh, so, 
set up your Fidelity account. It's not hard. It's uh, E-Trade is extremely easy to set up. It's basically just registering for an account. Once you get your account, deposit your money into the account and only put in what you're comfortable with losing. Like if you don't have five thousand dollars, put in five hundred dollars. Practice with five hundred dollars. And the more you practice with it, the more you get good at just uh, getting your 10 percent and getting out. You can go up to um, up to prices like nine thousand dollars, ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars. The more you put in, the easier it is to get the money that you're looking for. So. Here it said 1067, uh, and it's just 228. Usually, I'll start looking at these stocks at about 230. Um, once I know what I I want, I'll jump in a stock, and usually it takes me 10, 15 minutes. In 10 to 15 minutes, I'll make a thousand dollars, and I'm done for the day. I'll go back and get in the bed sometimes. So for you, know the process. Most of this can be found in my PDF of my process. But once you establish your process, you're going to find that it is extremely easy to go select a stock off the parameters that I set. Come enter it into your, your platform that you're trading from. Refresh the button. Because if this, if this goes up from 177% here, to 200 percent you know let's just say if it was 175 to 200 that's 15 percent gain this is really easy to get this stock can fly from ten dollars and 76 cent all the way to 15 dollars <throat> now it should be said that this stock can also go from ten dollars and 76 cent to eight dollars in which case you will lose a lot of money if you do not set your stop loss you know from here at ten dollars and 76 cent I might set my stop loss at nine dollars and fifty cents. So if it drops below nine dollars and fifty cent, um, I, I'm gonna lose the money that I'm okay with losing, but I won't lose if it goes to five dollars. So that's key: setting your stop loss. All right. So uh, later, I'm gonna pick a stock. It's probably gonna be this one since I'm already looking at it, and then we'll uh, see how it turns out. Guys, earlier I said uh, a 15% gain from 175 to 200. That was actually a 25% gain. Uh, but so I got in this stock at $10.48. So it dropped like I thought it would. And hopefully it goes up from here. So I think I got in around like 170%, something like that. And so, you know, if it goes up from... 170% to 200% in the power hour. That's a 30% gain. Uh, I think I spent $9,326. So $326 more than I intended to spend, but it's okay. So let's see. I'm going to set my stop loss. I think I said I, I would set it at $9.50. And so we'll just see if it goes up. At ten dollars sixty three cent, I'll change it. But until then, we'll see how this flies. So since then, it's risen from I got it at ten dollars and forty eight cent. It's now at ten dollars ninety four cent, ten dollars sixty nine. So it keeps fluctuating back and forth. I set my stop loss at nine dollars and seventy cent, uh, just in case. But, you know, if it gets back up $11, see where we're at now. So I'm up $331. I'm expecting this to reach into the 11s. This goes into the 11s. Um, that's a good day. I'll change my stop loss. And we can see how much we can gain. So now we're at eleven dollars forty seven cent. It's not even three o'clock yet. I'm up seven hundred and thirty dollars. It's at eleven dollars and thirty cent. So if it goes up to eleven fifty, we'll see. It's up 